on the next web 2016 we are here in a hacking space and hacking space look everybody is here creating unbelievable applications and what are these applications it's about the internet of things network with laura and ginke uh, winke giesemann <laughs> from the um, you're from the things network the thingsnetwork.org how many hacker groups do you have here? So I think there's around 200 people uh, now uh, hacking with all kinds of APIs that these uh, partners are supplying. And of course, we are here as well. And yep. we're handing out these, these small development devices. Uh, these are uh, Arduinos that are connected to the LoRaWAN network. Yep. And, and they'll get that as a basic. And we're going to see some really exciting applications. How many cities are now working on the Things Network? So we have 200 uh, communities worldwide that are building these networks. And of course, they're all waiting for uh, our Kickstarter product to be delivered. It's how many live networks do you have now of those 200? Um, I think it's, it's best to say how, uh, it's 200 cities that have yeah. some, some kind of coverage. Kind of coverage. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we have now more than uh, 250 gateways live. Okay. And if you look, for instance, as Amsterdam is covered, but also Zurich already has around 30 gateways. So you see, like things are uh, sorry, okay. so it's all starting, and we're waiting for the gateway, which is 200 bucks, which is coming out June or something. July, August. July, August, yeah. September, November. It will, be, but it will come. We're going to look at some interesting applications of the Internet of Things network. Okay, first we have Sander van der Graaf from 42 Unicorn, great name. Yes. Okay, I see a bike here. What is your, uh, what's your application? Yeah, so what we build is a uh, little device that you can put into your bike and it will track your, uh, the location of your bike uh, over LoRa. Okay, uh, it uh, uses GPS and Wi-Fi to uh, triangulate your uh, location, uh -huh. uh, so it doesn't use a lot and of this uh, is battery. The LoRa chip? Yeah, that's the actual LoRa chip uh, that we used. Uh, Yep. And you soldered it together. Now nah, this looks like fantastic work. You, when did you start with this? Uh, yesterday morning, 10 o'clock. Okay, yep. so you will track the bike where it is? Yep, and then we have a, uh, a, 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 a Apple Watch app and that you can uh, use to lock your, uh, your, uh, your uh, bike with. Yep. Uh, and if it starts moving, then you'll get a notification saying, hey, your bike has moved, uh, something's going on. Yep. And you can actually take a uh, Uber right from the app. Uh, to the location of your... Uh, <laughs> you can take an Uber? Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Everybody does Uber integration uh, with this. Is. Yep. Okay. And how long will this work on batteries, you think? Uh, depends on how uh, how fast you're uh, activating the... Uh, well, how, how... Give me an easy answer. A year. Okay. A year. A total cost of this? Uh, maybe $20. Dollars and then you have a yearly fee for the back office, or you well, make that no, for free. So, so you can use the uh, the things the network uh, for free. So that's good. Uh, and you have we have some AWS stuff that we use to uh, actually integrate it. But yeah, that's fairly. Uh, when is going to be ready the product? <laughs> when, uh, when is the presentation? <laughs> the presentation is due in like uh, half an hour or something. So uh, yeah, we're still uh, yeah mixing that up. So. Okay. Wonderful. Track my bike. Continue. Do nog een keer die. Okay, here is even the smart TV demo. Yes, oh, yeah. Yeah. And then neemt meteen uh, oh yeah, we zien dus the proximity center die werkt dus nu al. And you have ook a uh, you have a big dashboard where you basically show if people are behaving. Yeah. You have the Hall of Shame and the Hall of Fame if people don't wash their hands. Correct. Especially especially the Hall of Shame. Yeah, it's nice to know if people is actually yeah, doing their stuff. Okay. When is it going to be ready? Uh, it is ready as a prototype. It actually works. We're yeah. trying to finalize and adding a little bit more features as we can. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I want my own smart TV. I want my own my smart toilet uh, yeah. application. And oh yeah, you took a picture here. Look, he, it, it grabbed a picture of me. It grabbed a picture of me. And then I see I have fantastic air quality. Okay. All right. So this will so this will save lives in hospitals. This kind of st stuff will save lives. If we can make it cheap, what is the total cost of implementation on a toilet? much it's like 40 bucks the, those pieces and you can really reduce those into one so it can really reduce to a 50 50 bucks i would say everything all the components all together yeah. good luck thank you okay press here for the uber key can i see in, can, you, can i see inside inside yeah what's inside uh, inside is the things work uh, the things network uno which connects to the local network here in amsterdam yeah um yeah and by pressing this key Press here for a ride. You can order a Uber cab, and it comes near you. And how do you know the how do you know where it is? Yeah, there will be a GPS uh, uh, s uh, location sensor inside. Okay. How long? Do, how big do you envision that this will be? Yeah, it will just be, just be like a keychain, just like your car keys. Okay. So instead of a car key, you have a Uber key, and it will bring a taxi really close to you. Thank you. 
Okay, so it's really fun seeing 70 teams working here on all kinds of applications. We'll see where the winner is. We looked at some very promising things, but I want a smart toilet for myself.